When it comes to music, what format do you listen to it on? Is it vinyl, mp3 player, phone, tablet, or maybe even cassette tapes? Well for me, it's CDs on my CD player. You may be thinking, CDs, really? Well why not? Over the past couple of months in lockdown, I've been collecting quite a few of them, mainly hip hop and some rock. Personally, I like to have a hard copy of my music as I'm quite the fan of the physical medium. I get CDs because I can't really afford vinyl and I can also convert my CDs into mp3 files. So for me, it's like getting best of both worlds. Also, not to mention the fact that CDs can hold a lot, meaning that they often get more bonus tracks than vinyl, which is a major plus. But what's interesting to me is the packaging of the CD. Music packaging in general can be quite captivating. The cover and the booklet all add something to the experience, but when it comes down to CDs, there are two types of packaging, the digipack and the standard plastic jewel case. Digipacks are neat as they are comparable to vinyl record packaging, being that it's made from cardboard, but just like vinyl, they can deteriorate over time. Or in my case, it came to my doorstep looking all beat up. I really like this type of packaging, mainly because it's like holding a mini vinyl in my hand and often the graphics presentation is good too. However, there are some that are not so good. Look at this Gorillaz one. Gorillaz are known to have stellar visuals, which is one of the main reasons why I like the band in the first place. But this one only has one piece of art, and that's on the cover. And the rest is, well, nothing. Not even a booklet. The one big problem with most digipacks is getting the CDs out. Pulling them out of the sleeve is just like pulling out teeth, and it can be just as frustrating putting them back in. Unless you're really careful, you might cause damage to the packaging and cover the disc with fingerprints or even scratches. There is a packaging that is half digipack and half dual case that uses digipack materials and the dual case CD holder, which is an okay solution. Moving on from digipacks, let's talk about the standard dual case. First launched along with the CD back in 1982. Because standard dual cases are made from clear plastic, for me they look quite cheap, but can look really nice. For older releases, you often get this black spine that makes you noises when you rub it. It's bland and, well, uninspiring. It simply doesn't complement the rest of the packaging design. Sometimes you might get a different colour spine. Here I have an ODB album with a white spine, which works really well with the total presentation. It's also such a great album as well, and the effort put into the packaging just adds to the experience. I wish I could actually play you some of it without having copyright infringement. But for other releases and the most recent ones, they will have a transparent spine. Most of the time they won't include anything on the inside, but looking at the DLP, it includes the artist's name, which looks pretty cool. This whole packaging is a great example of how to present a CD and really adds to the enjoyment. Not only is the album cover awesome, but the booklet is nicely presented too, and the CD has great artwork as well. The whole packaging sticks to that gloomy purple colour, giving unity and our overall theme, and reflects the music content. While this is a great example you might come across when buying a CD, others are, well, bad. This Eric B and Rakim CD is great musically and the cover design is excellent, but the rest of the packaging really lets it down. Aside from the cover, the package is dominated by company logos and corporate branding. It's a mess. There's no additional information or graphics supporting the artist. Not even a booklet, just a folded up piece of paper with nothing inside. I repeat, nothing. It's all very cheap and undermines what otherwise is great music. So let's talk about booklets. For me, I feel they are a great way to get a visual for the music and a sense of the artist. I just like to flick through it while listening as it adds context and visual feel to the experience. Sometimes you'll totally miss that with downloading or streaming. Here with this Outcast CD, there's a comic book which is awesome and you'll totally miss that if you stream or download. Now this is coming from the same group that puts naked women on the discs. Oh uh, yeah. Because CD jewel cases are plastic, there is one really annoying problem. They are fragile. When buying online, they can arrive in the post all cracked, scratched, chipped and broken. I do buy online, I mean who doesn't, but I prefer to buy in the shops. Forget Amazon. In a shop you can inspect before you buy and yes you can return damaged goods, but it's a bit of a hassle. 
So we talked about different types of CD packaging. Now to end things off, let's talk about album covers. Album covers, I feel, progressively become much worse over the years as there's a lack of effort put into it. Not to mention that a lot of them are basically just photoshopped pictures of the artist. Music tends to get big numbers on digital platforms now, so album covers aren't a cause of concern in the album's success, which I find to be a bit of a shame, as I really like some of them. One of my favourites has to have got to be this Jizzer album, Liquid Swords. Look at it, it is so cool. It gives a real introduction to the artist and the music and tells you so much more. And now you will get something looking like this. Boring! And yes, I can hear what you say when you say you can download album sleeves too, but to hold the artwork in your hands adds another level to the experience. It's almost like holding and reading a physical art book. You wouldn't want to read that digitally. But the real question is, do I think the physical presentation of music would deteriorate? Bluntly, yes, because I think most people prefer digitally for its convenience and the industry would rather keep a large share of the profit from music sales rather than spend that bit extra on physical content and distribution. However, there will always be a market for physical media. I mean, just look at how vinyl has come back. I guess in the end, it boils down to convenience, space and cost. Luckily for me, I've had the room to hold it all and I'm happy to cough up that bit extra for real content, but at some point there may be a time where I won't. Well that's all from me, have a nice day and keep on jamming.